Hey everybody, welcome back to more Duke Nukem Attrition. I'm still Negroth, so I have Deceitful Penguin here with me. I'm not seriously going anywhere. I'm like, he stuck. he is humorously going. I'm I'm like stuck or something. It's like somebody tied me down in the basement or lassoed me around or some shit. It is. It's exactly like uh, I'm. I know you're a big fan of the of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street films, the yep. movies, if you will. Yep. Uh, there was that one where like the girl was like afraid of bugs or something, and in her nightmare dream, she ended up like getting stuck to flypaper in like a roach motel, and she got crushed. You remember that? No, I never seen a single. Si well, actually, I did see a part of one in a. Uh... Virtual Experience Blues and Biberach an der Riss. But okay. that was in German. Hmm. But yeah, after he crushed her, he was like, uh, they check in, but they never check out. Because that's, I guess that's the slogan on Roach Motels. <laughs> but, I mean, you're, you're really missing out on a very large part of Americana when you don't watch the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street motion pictures. You know, they reference horror movies, but, you know, after a scary movie, no one wants to reference them. No, no, I didn't reference horror It, It was the movie being referenced. Yeah, but now after scary movie did it, everyone is scared of, you know, doing that too. Just like if someone were to make, say, hey, let's make a sci-fi oriented first person shooter about a muscle head, you know, that's humorous, everyone would go like, no, no, just no. Gears of War. Gears of War is being written by Karen Travis. Who? Karen Travis? She is a woman that believes. Do you, do you remember Clone Wars? Uh, vaguely. Do you remember that there's a whole war in a galaxy going on? I remember that um, there was some pod racing. Yeah, uh, there are three million clones in the entire galaxy. According okay. to this woman, and also, Mandalorians are the best ever at everything, and Jedi's are suck. Well, after the Jedi's got totally raped by robots, I really am not surprised by it, honestly. You know, when I played Star Wars, the role-playing game, you know, I'm the a tabletop. Yep, the dice twenty-one, not the dice six one. Hmm. You know, I didn't even play as Jedi, even though they were hilariously overpowered. Because, you know, I wasn't actually DMing that one, but they still carried on with my style, and we were mostly just, you know, if we would have dark side scores, it would have just ended after the two, second or third session. Honest yeah. Honestly, uh, when they give you, you know, these hugely overpowered grenades that indiscriminately kill everyone, how did they expect you not to use them? Uh, well, I suppose that it's supposed to be the danger of accidentally blowing yourself up, but relatively speaking, the blast radius is kind of reasonable. Yeah, and I mean, that's why you have battle. That's why you make the shitty battle droid hold it and just drop it on its feet after running up to them. Uh, sadly, they they haven't really perfected that technology yet for this particular game, I suppose. No, I mean. We have talking about a game. I don't even remember a game that had so little fall damage you could do a run like that. Uh, well, I don't know. This particular level is just kind of set up very obtusely, I suppose, to actually get around and find key cards and everything like that. Gee whiz, Batman! Spe Tell me, well, shitty well, this... level design in a Duke game? Well, I'm not sure if you noticed there, but. If you weren't expecting that uh, pathway to completely crash in, it's a good way to die. You know, I remember when video games were about, you know, dying stupidly and reloading and feeling like an idiot. They don't do that yeah. anymore for some reason. I don't know. Well, they do. It's just, it's, it's a lot more difficult to notice due to the fact that auto-saving has become such a prevalent idea. Yeah, I mean... So, so it's like, oh, I died. Well, I don't care, because the game is set on easy mode and just remembers to save for me. I remember some things like going in games and realizing they didn't have... Why did the screen suddenly go dark? Uh, because that particular Octobrain, his, he can spit out um, blinding 
gas dust. What like the a... hell? Waves? Have they done that before? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was actually the uh, the most noticeable one I can remember was for it? level like was um it was the secret level in... the ocean the the boat one. Oh, that was, yeah, there was one in uh, the uh, Caribbean expansion. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. One, one that I've actually shown off was uh, the secret level and the plug and pray, or the PS1 special episode. Had a really obnoxious wave effect that ended up making me crash the emulator quite a bit. <laughs> oh, uh, let's talk about th anything other than that. What, you mean the greatness of plug and pray? Mm hmm. Or the fact that the secret level was just a converted multiplayer level. Oh. Third party contractor for 3D Realms whose name I don't remember. Hardpark. Gesundheit. Yeah, I, I tried to look up more information on Aardvark's uh, software. They apparently just stopped existing outside of that uh, PS1 port. It's as opposed as opposed to N Space, who did uh, you know Time to Kill and all those other games, they they did things like Danger Girl. Ah uh, yes, my favorite in C class games. Yeah, I mean if you if you love Gen thirteen, and who doesn't enjoy semi soft core American comic books? What the, um, what the hell is a Gen thirteen? It's it was well, it was just a really dull fan servicey cheesecake nonsense comic book. I never realized the point of those. I mean, why not just buy straight up pornography? Jesus. Well, well, back before the internet, you had to kind of you know just walk, settle. Walk up to a store and say, "Hey, buy some porn," and the guy says, "Yep, I was young once too." Here? Well, well, no, they don't. They won't sell pornography to children. What the, f what the fuck kind of country do you people have? Um, closeted. I mean, okay, so may the porn mags here were completely not a shit, but Jesus Christ! You know, <laughs> pornography terrible, but bloody fucking gibbs as you shoot your rapid fire rocket launcher is a okay. Yeah, well, that's that's. Well, one is very manly and acceptable and, you know, part of the growing process, and the other is... What's more manly than pornography? Except for gay well, pornography. Well, gay pornography is pretty manly. Those guys are buff. Yep. Makes you feel kind of, you know... I mean, it's just like, you'll thank God those guys prefer men, because otherwise it'd be a pretty stiff competition. Stiff. <laughs> but, yeah... We are actually almost done with the level because we destroyed the lunar reactor, which I'm sure was powering, powering the moon. Powering the moon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nigga, don't um, keep himself up by himself. It, what yeah, the how, fuck? How do you think it? How do you think it controls the tides? I I thought that was just a myth. It's actually God with like a string pulling it all the time. Yeah, God and his cat. Yes, God. Actually, God sounds more like a dog person. Cats are way too random. Mm, well, God's pretty random. But that is the end of this particular mission. We'll see you next time for more Duke Nukem. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm -mm -mm.